Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. Today I'd like to talk about temperatures of your food. When you go to bake or cook, the temperatures and recipes are set that everything is at room temperature. So if you put cold eggs in it or something else that is not room temperature, it's going to fluctuate on your cooking time. The same thing goes if you have a cold chicken and you go to fry it, it's not going to be done unless it's room temperature. So remember, any recipes or anything you do, you pretty much have to have everything at room temperature. I find getting milk at room temperature, hang it up, I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna come out of the refrigerator. Or my yogurts, or my sour creams if I'm making desserts and stuff. But the other stuff, I try to always bring it to room temperature before I work with it. Cream cheese, the same thing, it has to be room temperature. If it's not, it clubs up the milk, if, I mean the butter if you keep it in the freezer. You take it out and think you can use it unless the recipe says they want it frozen you're going to have problems with it when you go to test it and you say why isn't it being cooked at this time so always remember when you're baking and cooking things should be at room temperature especially in the baking department or if you're frying chicken or if your fish is real cold these things have to be your vegetables can come out of the refrigerator and you can cook those there's no problems there but definitely in baking or if you go to make bread that yeast needs things that are room temperature so they can grow so if I'm going to use my whole grains I usually take them out the night before and I'll put them on the table so when I wake up in the morning I can handle it and I'll it, the flour will be at the temperature that I need it so just letting you know a few things about temperature in the foods.